Okay, we can go ahead. So welcome everyone. Thank you so much for um, attending the Mela and this booth. So um, I'm the moderator, Anushka. Hi. So I'll first introduce um, all our speakers and the company as well. So this is by Global Adjustments, and they are a 25-year-old company whose mission is to create empowered global citizens through real-life solutions. So today, they're going to take you on a journey through India and give you glimpses of a traditional dance form and a walk down the Indian Spice Trail. So um, our speakers today are Miss Elizabeth and Miss Shanti, and we're joined by our dancer, Miss Shraddha. So um, Sh Miss Shanti and Elizabeth, you can take it away. Thank you very much. Welcome to our session. I know AIAC turns 25 this year, so did we. And the common factor between us is Joanne Grady Husky, who was responsible in starting the school, was also responsible in uh, starting global adjustment. So welcome to the session. Um, that's fine, just go to the next one, Elizabeth. So here's a little introduction to Global Adjustments. My name is Shanti Puducherry. I have been working with Global Adjustments for 20 years. Watch what we do. That's our agenda. We're going to start with an India quiz. And I'm sure you know a lot of those answers. We're going to have an Indian dance performance for you. And then we're going to have a, a spice trail. We'll introduce you to some spices from India, uh, fruits and vegetables too. And then we'll talk about fabrics from India. We'll show you some beautiful fabrics and then we'll answer any questions that you might, you might have. So that's what we have. I'll get started because we're on a tight uh, schedule here. So ancient and young, India is an ancient civilization, 5,000 years old. So how many babies do you think are born in India every minute? We'll give you multiple choices here. So the choices are 34, 30, or 11. What do you think? Please unmute yourself and give me the answer. Yeah, you can unmute yourself. And... You can Andrew, I One see that you... Okay. Yes, Adhavan, uh, 34 was your answer. And Smith, the both of you are right. The correct answer is 34. Um, Liz, the correct answer. There's 30 uh, 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 kids born in China every minute and 11 kids born, 11 babies born in uh, UP, which is Uttar Pradesh in India. So that means that India has a very young population 50% of the people of India are below the age of 25 and 65% below the age of 35. Um, sorry to interrupt. I think they can just uh, type in chat their uh, answers. 
So I can see it. when you ask the question, they can just type it in and then you can yeah. take it from there. Sounds good. Sounds good. So of the 10 largest world religions, how many do you think were started in India? And the options are, do you think it's two, seven, or four? Okay. Okay. Mo, you are right. And the first person that typed in, I missed your, uh, your name. Uh, it is uh, the right answer, Varun. Yes, the right answer. You're right, Varun. Anybody else with your answers before I announce it? So correct. The correct answer is four. Can you tell me which of which they are, which ones they are? Would you know the names of the, of the religions? Okay, so I'll give you the answers. It's, there you go, Priya, you got it. Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, and Sikhism. Islam did not originate in, um, in India, Priya. It was brought to the north through invaders and to the south through peaceful traders. So, wonderful job. Very good, all of you. Chennai has produced many talented musicians who have won awards nationally and internationally. Who do you think they are? Here are some options. You are right, Priya. You answered even before the, the, the options came up. So is it MS Subalakshmi, who is a very famous Carnatic singer? Is it A.R. Rahman? Is it Ilaya Raja? Or do you think it's all of the above? What do you think? You're right, Varun. Let me see if I have any more correct answers. You're right, Saucity. That's right. D is the correct answer. And so all of, all of them are from Chennai. Okay, Andrew, you're right too. I'm sorry I missed you. <laughs> Catamaran is a famous shipping term. In Tamil, it is called Kattumaram, Kadal, or Alai. What do you think the answer is? Right again, Saucity and Varun. Anybody oh. else? Anybody else? Smith, you're right. I don't know your first name. It just says Smith here. Any other answers? Okay. The Kattumaram. Kattumaram is the correct answer. I don't know who said it, but you're absolutely right. Do you know what Kattumaram means? There are two Tamil words. Do you know what it means? Okay, Donovan, I got it. Anybody? Do you know what Katta is to tie and Maram is wood? So literally logs of wood are tied together. And that's what is called the Kattumaram. Just so you know, Kadal is the ocean. Alai means wave, all right? How many languages do you think are on an Indian currency note? Do not pull out a note and look at it. That would be cheating. Tell me what you think. You think it's 14, 16, or 17? Okay, I haven't seen the right answer yet, so I'm waiting for someone to type it in. Soyon Lee, you're right, it is 17. So there are 17 languages. So you can now pull it out and look at an Indian currency note and inclusive of English, there are 17 languages on, on Indian currency notes. CSK, who do you think they are? Are they options? A group of super kings who ruled Chennai in the 16th century, or Chennai's strategic key points, which is discussed in a large forum every year, or do you think there are super kings, the cricket team? Yes, everybody knows the answer to this one. Every one of you is right. Suyon, you're right. Whistle Porter, that's right, Saucity, that's what it is. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Very good. Every single one of you that typed in is correct. I'm going to hand it to Elizabeth for a beautiful uh, a dance show. So, namaste. My name is 
Shraddha. So I'm 17 years old and I've been um, trained in the cla Indian classical dance form called Bharatanatyam for the past 13 years. So about my costume, I'm wearing a six piece dance costume, traditional dance costume. And my jewelry, I'm wearing a headset. Then this is called the Jimki. This is the martel. This is the choker, the long chain. And then I'm wearing a waist belt. And on my feet, I'm wearing a chalangai, which usually dancers wear while performing. So today, I'm going to show all of you an excerpt from the traditional invocatory called Todia Mangalam in Ragamalika and Salamalika. Um, Elizabeth, you can stop the screen sharing. So um, everyone, you can pin global adjustments video, and that way you can see the um, dance performance like on a full screen. show you some animals, how it's shown in Bharatanatyam, and I would love all of you to guess it. Okay, so the first one. Which animal do you think that was? Peacock. Elephant. Hey, peacock. Yeah. Elephant. Elephant is the right answer. Okay, next one. No. No. A. No. Peacock. Peacock. Would you like her to show it to you one more time? Any, any guesses? Okay, it's a horse. Okay, the next one. Any 
Do it one more time. Uh, Shraddha, do it one more time. Peacock. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the next one. Lion. Lion. Okay. Um, no, it's not. Yeah. Lion. It's a tiger. It's a tiger. Tiger is the right answer. Thank you. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take you on a little journey through the spice trail of India. So of course, Europeans first came to India in search of our amazing spices. Um, Christopher Columbus, when he found the new world, he was actually looking for a shorter route to the Indian uh, spice trail. So we're going to show you some of our spices. I hope everyone can see it. Yes, we um, can see it. Great. So we're going to start off here with any guesses for what this is. Beetle leaf. Yes, that's right. So this is a beetle leaf. It's used for medicinal purposes um, and it's uh, the leaf of a vine. Um, I have another spice here. I'm going to take it out. It's a little seed. I'm sure everyone knows what this is. It's got a very nice intense mm -hmm. flavor. Yes, it's got a very nice intense flavor. It's used in Indian cooking. It's also used to make masala chai. And this little spice, it's it was considered very, very precious. In fact, it was often given as gifts to kings. Um, and it's a bark of a tree, one of the inner barks of a tree. Do we have any guesses? Cinnamon. Yes, that's right, it's cinnamon. And I'm gonna show you some fruits right now. We have this funny looking fruit. You can break it up into little pieces and it's very sweet and yummy and white inside. Do we have any guesses? Custard apple. Yes, that's right. It's custard apple. It's custard apple. And I have another fruit here. It's again sweet, kind of tastes like cinnamon. And you can find it in here. It's got a funny Indian sound word. Yeah, someone said supporter on the chat. Yes, yes. Supporter is the right answer. Uh, hey. uh, could I request you all to mute yourselves, please? Yes. We can uh, put the answers in chat so everyone gets an opportunity. So I have a vegetable here. Um, that's what it looks like. It's got a funny sounding name. It's also a vine. And it's really yummy. They either fry it and with chili. Do we have any guesses? Kovakai. Yes. Says Kovakai. Yes, so this is um, ivy goat or tindora is the English word for it. Um, it's an Indian vegetable. Um, we also have, I'm hoping it's pretty long, so it might not even fit in the entire screen. <laughs> These vegetables can actually grow up to 60 inches. So does anyone want to guess what this is? Lisa Payne says gourd snake. Yes, Lisa, that is correct. <laughs> so gold. I have another popular vegetable here. I'm sure everyone knows what this is. Do we have some answers? Ladyfinger? Is it ladyfinger? Drumstick? Yes, that's right. This is drumstick. drumstick. It's not a meat, it's a vegetable here. Um, we do have some leaves here as well. Um, I don't know if y'all can see this. Yeah, it's visible. And I'm also going to show you, there are a lot of leaves that we use in Indian cooking. We have curry leaves, we have lime leaves, 
Um, and then of course, one of the most important plants and leaves is the tilt, I'm showing you a tilty leaf right here. Um, and the act of actually watering the plant is very symbolic and it's a spiritual act and something that everyone, uh, people usually do every morning. Um, so we have a lot of herbs and spices in India that's used not just in cooking, but also in our skincare products and for medicinal purposes. So thank you for joining us on the World Spice Trail. I'm going to hand it over to Shanti, who is going to show, talk to you about Indian fabric. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Shanti, you're on mute. Sorry yeah. about that. No I'm going to show you about, uh, show you some Indian fabrics very briefly because we, we're going to leave you some time to ask questions. Can anyone guess what this fabric would be? Any guesses? It's called chiffon and it gets its name from France. In, in French, it means cloth. And so that's what it is. It's a very thin fabric. It's a woven one. How about this? Anyone know what this is? Very good, Priya. It is silk. You know, there are many, many different kinds of silk. This is a silk dupatta. So you got that right. How about this? What is this? What do you think this is? What fabric is that? That's right. It is Kanchipuram silk, Priya. And you know, there is a bird here. Let me get the bird in for you. It's called Annapakshi. Can you see it? Yes. And Annapakshi is a combination of a swan and a peacock and its special ability. It's a mythical bird and its special ability is that it can separate milk from water. If there's a solution of milk and water, it can separate it. So it is essentially to say that it can figure out what is true and what is not. How about this? What fabric is this? Any guesses? This is a very famous Tamil print. It's called Chungadi, those little, that's right. It's cotton, Vijayalakshmi, very good, it is. And so this is the colors of yellow and red are very popular in, in Tamil Nadu. It's considered very auspicious. How about this? What fabric do you think this is? What fabric do you think this is? Any guesses? It's linen. It gets its name from the flax plant, which in Latin is called linum. And that's where it gets its name from. And kanjivaram that you said, Priya, comes in many different forms. And here's a very heavy kanjivaram silk, which, is, which has a lot of gold threads in it. So we have many, many fabrics in India. I just brought a few to, show, to share with you, to show you. And we have just a little bit of time for Q&A. Anushka, over to you. Yeah. Um, so if anyone would like to ask any question, I'd request you to type it in the chat. Um, so no one's crossing over and talking to each other. And I'll ask the question for you. So you can post your question on the chat box. If you have questions. If you have questions. Yeah. Okay, kind of looks like we don't. Um, well, thank you very so, much. Yeah. Thank you very much for being part of oh, this. Lisa Payne says wait. <laughs> Lisa Payne says wait. Okay. Oh, wait. What is Tulsi Silk? Tulsi Silk is the name of a store in Chennai. Tulsi actually means um, it's, a, it's a cousin of the basil as you would know it and silk. Oh, thank you, Priya. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, and silk comes from uh, silkworms. And uh, Soyan is asking, what is the most popular type of sari to wear to a Tamil wedding? A Kanjivaram sari would be the perfect thing to wear to a Tamil wedding. Um, it's very bright, it's colorful, and these days you can match it with gorgeous blouses. So the answer is 
always a Kanjivaram sari for any South Indian wedding. Yeah, the Tulsi silk uh, store is very famous, actually. Yes. Many people use it as a landmark. So, yeah. Yeah. Pleasure, awesome. Suyon. I'm glad you liked it. Okay, thank you all so much. Thank you all for joining and taking the time out to attend this session. And thank you especially to Ms. Shanti, Ms. Elizabeth and Ms. Shraddha for that amazing dance. Um, yes, thank you all. And the session is done. Please feel free to check out all the other booths and enjoy yourselves. Thank you for the awesome. opportunity, thank Anushka. You. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. Bye, Bye, -bye. everyone. The session Bye. is done.